Now this is something I saw in our warehouse and I had to grab one because it is a half X NVIDIA edition case. So as you guys may or may not know from the extreme buyer's guide that I did on my NCIX Tech Tips channel, I'm a big fan of the half X case. I really like it, at, especially at the time of being released. It was one of the more interesting, new and innovative cases on the market because it was one of the first to introduce compatibility for certain motherboards that are longer than standard ATX. It was also one of the first cases, to, or what? Well, there was the first case to take that cool half appearance and turn it into something that I would truly consider worthy of housing an extreme gaming computer. So this, um, Cooler Master's done a few NVIDIA edition cases, but this is probably the slickest looking one, and it is the first high-end NVIDIA branded case that we've seen from Cooler Master. So, you know, I'm actually going to get the cameraman to... No, let's do the outside of the box first, then I'm going to open it off camera because this is going to take a little while. It's really heavy. Okay, the rear retaining holes for water cooling, nine expansion slots for increased expandability. we got cable management grommets, tool-free hard drive slots, front 230 millimeter green LED fan. Okay, we've got NVIDIA SLI... Certified GPU cooling system. Okay, this I haven't seen before. Support for USB 3.0. Looks like we got two USB 3.0 slots. Cable cover for clean insides and a SATA dock for easy installation without removing the side panel. Let me just see if there's anything else we're missing here. Yep, yeah, okay. So we got five three and a half inch drive bays, six five and a quarter inch drive bays, two of these, whatever these are. Okay, here's all of our cooling system stuff, and let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. So this is it, the half X NVIDIA edition. If there was any doubt from the color scheme still left in your mind as to whether this is an NVIDIA edition case or not, you could probably check right here and see that there is an NVIDIA logo right on the front of it. So there, let your doubts be uh, dismissed quite easily. Okay. So here we got our five and a quarter inch bay covers. Let's do the front of the case first. We've got all of our front I.O. and whatnot. We've got our power switch, reset switch, as well as an on-off switch. That's a toggle switch for the fan LED. So you can leave the fan on, but actually turn the lights off if you want to sleep. We've got two USB 3.0 ports, one eSATA, one FireWire, two USB 2.0, front microphone, as well as front headphones. So lots of different I.O. options here at the front. I can't remember if this does anything on the half X. It would appear that it doesn't. So that is the front. Why don't we have a look at the top? So in the top of the case, we've got two cooling fans, which are each measured at approximately, yeah, I'm checking, 200 millimeters. So those are two, du those are dual 200 millimeter fan mounts in the top of the case. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move it around to this side. So on the side, we've actually got another 200 millimeter fan mount. Here we go. Okay. Ah, right there. And that actually comes with a fan pre-mounted in it. So that's going to provide all the cooling you could possibly need to your high-end GeForce graphics card that you ought to be installing in a case like this. You can see the window actually has some NVIDIA artwork on it as well. And uh, it is a green tinted window rather than being a straight clear window. So here, if I, can, if I stick my hand in here, you can see the color difference between my hand behind the green glass and my hand not behind the green glass. So let's twist it around again. Oh, it's heavy though. Steel construction. It weighs, I tell ya. Okay. At the back of the case, we find our water cooling grommets. We find a 140 millimeter fan with optional 120 millimeter mount. So that means if you wanted to install something like a Corsair H70, you would have the option to do that. More ventilation holes next to our nine PCI expansion slots and a standard bottom-mounted ATX power supply make up the back of the case. On the other side, we find a fairly traditional, well, relatively speaking, uh, side panel. So it has a half-x look to it. That is, the side panel has some shape to it, some definition. And then we find design by Cooler Master, which is, besides this little tiny logo, on the box, which is way down here at the bottom, the only Cooler Master branding on this entire product and packaging. So next thing that we will do is 
give me a second off camera to get these screws loosened. Okay, I got it. There we go. So I'm taking the first side panel off, and then in a moment, since we can't really see a whole lot from this side, why don't we do the cable management aspect first? So we've got a hole here that's going to allow us to take any power supply cables we want to run up the back. So SATA cables over to the drives, SATA cables over to the other drives. So there's actually here, you guys should see this because, ooh, the other side panel came off. Okay, well there's the fan and the duct that goes on it to make sure that all of the airflow is directed at your graphics cards. All right, so we're not going to spend too much time on that. But I also want to show you this gap right here. So if you want to bring a cable up from the bottom, you can actually run it up here to your optical drive as well. So that's going to make sure that cable stays nice and hidden. We've got a cutout at the back of the motherboard tray that's going to allow us to uh, install and uninstall any backplate requiring CPU coolers without actually taking the motherboard out of the case. And we've got a couple nice silicone grommets here. You can see these are nice high quality grommets. When I go and press on them, they actually snap right back into place. And we've got our, yes, here we go. So here's the LED power for our front fan, so that is controlled by that switch at the top. And then here's the actual fan power, which we can either plug in via 3-pin or via the 3-pin to 4-pin Molex adapter that Cooler Master includes with the case. Or should I say NVIDIA includes with the case? Very hard to say. All right, in here, this looks like it's going to get complicated in a hurry. Why don't we start at the top right and work our way to the back. So here we have our toolless five and a quarter inch retention mechanism. Here we have a box, which if I can figure out how to remove it, that would be great. There we are, so that's probably going to contain some accessories. Here we've got all of our front panel connectors, so I'm not going to bother taking those out, but I think you guys get the point. There is one thing I do want to see though here. Ah uh, yes, it looks like we're still doing USB 3 via the uh, non-header approach, so you're going to have to take your USB 3 cables, run them out the back of the case, maybe through a PCI bracket, and plug them into the back of your motherboard. Everything else in here, the uh, front firewire, the front audio, the front USB is all pretty standard, and you can see the colors of the cables here. Front ESAT is right there. Okay, so then moving down, here are our little uh, two front SATA bays. Okay, so those are going to be running off a little back plane here. There's your power. There's your two SATA interfaces. So I'm going to actually show you guys really quick how that works once I figure it out. Oh, there, that's how it works. So you can either mount, you've got uh, two and a half inch mounting holes or three and a half inch mounting holes on there. And it looks like this bay also functions in much the same manner. So I want you to hear if you can get in there and you can see that's what that little circuit board connects to. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these back in. So remember that's in addition to the toolless drive bays that are located down here. So we're going to work our way down here closer to the bottom of the case. So you got those two plus these five. Now these look flimsy. I'll be the first to tell you guys that. Actually it looks less flimsy when you got in. Here, look at this. They look flimsy. As soon as you put a hard drive in here, these things stiffen right up. And once you put it back in with the hard drive, you have utter confidence that it's not going anywhere. You can see this one also comes with a two and a half inch adapter. So natively, this case can support up to two two and a half inch drives here and an additional one with the adapter included with your top drive sleds. So that's pretty nice to see. All right, moving closer to the back of the case. Actually here, let's have a look up into the top. So that's where our 200 millimeter fan goes. You can see we've got one installed and then one more optional one over on the other side there. See, so you can throw another one in there. Okay, here's that little duct thing that was on the outside of the box. So I guess the theory is that when you have a graphics card installed, and I happen to have a graphics card handy here, this, hmm, well, that, that won't necessarily work very well if your graphics card is installed on the very top of your motherboard. So, 
Yeah, let's not worry too much about that. But I think the point of that duct is basically to direct as much airflow as possible at the graphics cards from this front fan. So you intake from the front fan, there's actually another 120 millimeter fan built into that duct, and that's going to blow air directly at your graphics cards. Here is the little cable cover, so you install your power supply, and you can point your power supply with the fan drawing air up from the bottom because this is mesh down here, so it's not going to suffocate. Okay, and then you've got a little cover here so you can route cables up here, you can route cables out behind the motherboard tray, you can route cables out over here, and it's going to cover up that, that little messy portion like this that comes right out of your power supply directly so you won't be able to see that. And you know what? I think that actually pretty much covers everything I have to say about the Half-X NVIDIA Edition. There's that 140 mm millimeter fan at the back and then other than that we got rubber feet on the bottom and I think that's it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Half X NVIDIA edition. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews and other computer videos. Yeah, I forgot to show you what's in this box. So we've got all of our mounting hardware for our motherboard drives and other things. We've got an adapter to turn those two front USB 3s into internally header driven USB 2s. We've got some uh, zip ties. Okay. We've got an 8 pin extension cable. So if your power supply doesn't have a long enough 8 pin connector, which Cooler Master has pretty much anticipated it won't, they've included an adapter for you. Okay. We've also got uh, this. Oh yeah, I remember what this is. So this goes here somewhere and then is used to support your graphics cards. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then we also have some included casters. So you can install those on the bottom of the case and then you can roll it around because like I said, it's pretty friggin' heavy even without hardware installed. There we go. Now we're actually done.